Hi, this is JP Morgan. And I'm Mayor. Today on the Slant Lens, we're going to talk about low angles, putting your camera in the dirt, or on the pavement, or concrete, or sidewalk, or wherever we may be putting it. There are very interesting angles when you get that camera low and looking up. There's several ways you can use that. We're going to show them, we're going to talk about it, just see what we can do today. So, get in your camera in the dirt. Low angles are anything that really is below eye level. It doesn't have to be all the way on the dirt, even though I love that look a lot. The number one reason to use a low angle is because it makes your subject look like a hero. They look strong, they look in charge, they feel formidable. It's a great look for women to get slightly low. That's really the, the key to having longer looking legs. You don't want to look down on legs because it's going to shorten them. You want to get down lower and that low angle really accentuates the legs, makes them look longer. Let me give you a quick demonstration here. As the camera comes in and gets closer on, and to her, closer to her face, then the camera needs to climb up and become higher above her face. As the camera comes away from her, it will come down slightly at eye level as you get to waist, and then as you go to below waist, you're going to want to drop and see her, her entire legs, and it's going to come lower. So you don't want to shoot up high like this in a full body as much because it just doesn't look as flattering. You want to get slightly below eye level and elongate the legs, so that lower angle is just a great way to accentuate the legs. So in tight, up high on the face, as you come out to mid body, it's uh, eye level and down below eye level as you come into a full body. That's just a general rule of thumb as you're shooting a figure. So other than Orson Welles, most every filmmaker is going to use that low hero angle or that low kind of strange angle because you never saw the Psycho House shot in a high angle. It just it would never work. It's that low angle, forced perspective, looking away from you. That was always the interesting angle, what made that look really kind of weird and strange. So it either makes you look like a hero, or it can make you seem kind of distant or uh, kind of strange. So there's that low angle. Let's look at some other reasons why we should put our camera in the dirt. I love a low angle inside of something. Uh, it's inside of a case, inside of a suitcase. I've shot that before where you open up the suitcase and the person looks in and sprays around in the suitcase spraying for bed bugs. I've done it where it's inside of a box. Someone's opening up the box and wants to look in at the object inside. They're all excited about it. So the camera's looking out of the box at the person. I love these kind of low angles with the faces coming over and looking into the camera or into the case. Cut the backs out of the cases, get the camera lower, or the platypody, get it as deep in the case as you can and put as wide a lens as you can on. Then you allow the person to open the case, open the door, and that reveals the person as they look in. It's a great look. Another reason I get the camera down low on the ground is that if I get up, I see all of this stuff in the background back here. And even though I can put it out of focus, it's just more busy and more not near as interesting. When I come down lower on her, I don't have to go a long ways, but as I get lower down here, I push her into the blue sky. Especially if I'm working with strobes, I can make her a little brighter, which means I can make the background a little darker. And in that way, it makes a more graphic image. I don't have so much busyness going on. I've kind of put her on a nice blue background. It looks very nice. We did a lot of this up in the grass. We were shooting there, a uh, lesson we shot with Mayor a couple weeks ago. It just was very interesting because I'd get down low and that added another really interesting element. As I'd get down low, I now pick up foreground elements. Sometimes I'll get right on the ground. In fact, I do this all the time when I'm shooting downtown. I'll lay on my back and shoot away. I love this look. Another good reason to get down the dirt is because those low angles will simplify your background, make your image look more graphic, and add some interesting foreground. Another great reason to get your camera down the dirt is when you're using it as the POV of the person. So put it on a platypod, aim it straight up, and it becomes a great POV shot of the model or the actor or the patient. I've used these in doc style pieces where I use it as a look at the dentist, as the dentist leans over and his lubes flash into the lens. There are a lot of great ways to use this, or waking up a child in the morning, like what? You know, so you get that look of mom going, wake up. You know, this becomes a great B-roll kind of shot or a great storytelling shot. That low angle looking straight up and people leaning in looking straight in the camera. It's a great POV shot using your dock stuff. Another great angle that I love is to get the camera on the ground. I use this when I'm doing B-roll for a lot of my documentary things and I just have the person run by and step over top of the camera. You can step over it as they go away from you. They can step over it as they come to you. It's just a really interesting piece of B-roll. They don't have to run. They can be walking by. They can be riding a bike by, they can be walking their dog. Just get that camera down low so as they come by, you see their foot step into the frame. It looks really interesting as they walk on by. It's just a really good piece of B-roll that gives you depth to your video piece. 
So get that camera in the dirt, get a really low angle B-roll. It's a fabulous look. Another great B-roll shot that I love is putting the camera on the ground and letting the car drive by, or even better, the car drives over top of it. I love that shot. It gives us just a really interesting piece to work with in our video. You can use that for a documentary, a dentist leaving the office. You can use that in a, any kind of narrative piece. It's just a great B-roll shot that adds interest. Another great shot, get that camera in the dirt. So there are several great reasons to get the camera down in the dirt. Great foreground, like the grass we have right here. Put your camera on a platypod, get it down low. You've got a ball head on there so you can adjust it. Makes it very simple to be able to get the camera low and to adjust it. You may have to put a monitor on the top of the camera, plug it in, turn that monitor around so you can see to adjust your camera. Or you can tether it, you know, it's a very easy way to work as well. I find the monitor is a little quicker, a little faster to work. But get it down low so you can get interesting backgrounds, so you can simplify your background, so you can get that hero angle. So you can get that POV of your actor looking up into the faces of your other actor. You can get that POV of the actor looking down into a suitcase or an empty box. There's just so many reasons to get down low and get that interesting angle. Have you got some interesting low angles you'd love to show off? Go over to our Slanted Lens Facebook group. Post them there. Maybe you got some stuff we haven't even thought of. Leave a comment below. We'd love to hear what you're thinking about the lessons we're doing and some of the things we've taught here about today. So join our group, follow us, like us, do all those kinds of things. Instagram, Facebook. YouTube, we have it all. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. If you want to make the transition from just natural light to strobe light, get our Mastering Studio strobes download. It's at theslendlens.com. It's going to teach you what strobes you should buy, how to use them, and has all kinds of lighting setups. It'll help you perfect the skill and be using strobes in no time. So get over to theslendlens.com. Don't be afraid to put your camera in the dirt. Yeah. It's a great look.